Uh, members of the Phoenix City Council are weighing the pros and the cons of letting the mayor move forward with the state of emergency in the city. The declaration forced Phoenix restaurants and bars to close their doors and only offer delivery or pickup services. Carissa Plan up live tonight at Council Chambers to give us an idea of what might happen, Carissa. Well, the move from council tonight will determine if Phoenix police can really enforce the closures of bars and restaurants. I spoke to several council members today. Council member Stark says she supports the, the, uh, the state of emergency and she's going to propose a working group to help restaurants through this difficult adjustment. Council member Sal DeCicio does not support the declaration. He says he wants a timeline to know when people will be allowed to go back to work. To me, it seems like everybody's just overreacting to this extremely. Dennis Danes, owner of Ajo Al's, has had to make some changes going from dine-in to takeout only. He's only had hours to adjust after Phoenix Mayor Kate Gallego declared a state of emergency in an effort to prevent the spread of coronavirus. Today is our first day, so we've just uh, we've just cut staff. We have uh, a, a couple people in the kitchen to to do what little bit of cooking or or processing that we have to do. We have a young lady that's uh, uh, manning the phone and putting together the to goes as they come in. Bars and restaurants were forced to close their dining rooms last night at 8. For Dennis and his son Danny, that meant telling about 25 employees to go home and wait. We're worried about their livelihood as well. They say sales are down about 50 percent, though patrons have been supportive. One very generous customer left this $800 tip. Dennis and Danny say they can manage like this for a couple weeks, but not a couple months. No certainty. We, we, we don't know anything. And that's and, and in business, if there's no certainty, what, what, what can you do? It, it makes it almost impossible to operate. I was told at this point, Phoenix police will contact people, restaurant owners violating those closures on an education basis for now. But if the city council does allow this state of emergency to go forward, police will have more authority for enforcement. I'm going to keep you updated on this throughout the night. For now, live at City Council, Carissa Planelp for Arizona's Family.